Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be testing Kaspersky Internet Security 2018. We will begin with the update as we usually do. Now before we get into the test, there has been a lot of controversy surrounding this company lately. Maybe I'm going to discuss that in a later video, maybe not, but for now I'll just say this and this is just my opinion. I wouldn't really base my purchase decision on the news events going on. I would still only focus on the kind of security it can offer me. Now talking about the UI, this is actually one of my favorite AV interfaces. I mean, just the color scheme is so neat. It's one of the best when it comes to design. Now I'm not going to talk too much about the features because we all know what they are. We have our anti-banner, network attack blocker, the regular stuff, application manager. So I've covered all of this in my previous review, so I'm not really going to go over this and we will jump right into the test. So as usual, I have some nasty URLs that I'll try out on the system and see if Kaspersky can protect us. The first one is blocked. That's easy, or as they say in Counter-Strike, easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, second one is blocked as well. Let's just keep moving. Again, access denied. Malicious link blocked. Seems like it's going to be a pretty easy link test. Two more to go. So far, so good. And the final link is also blocked. So Kaspersky did a really good job in the link test, blocked all our links. Now let's move on to the real deal, which is the malicious files. For that, I'm going to pause the protection. And now we can grab our samples. Most of these were collected today. And we have 1,174. We have general malware in here, PUPs, ransomware, all that kind of stuff. First, we're gonna do a right-click scan and try to figure out the detection ratio. Now, Kaspersky does like to disinfect some files, so I guess I will first um, make sure that that doesn't happen because um, we don't want that to affect our scan results. I'm going to select delete for all files, including the selective scan. So now it should automatically delete any files which are detected. And now we wait for it to process the data. Kaspersky does a pretty in-depth scan, so that took a while, but now we are ready to review the results. As you can see, most of the objects were deleted. One could not be processed, and I'm just going to try to resolve it. And now we're done. So let's go ahead and check what we are left with. And that is 110 items. Just to be sure, I'm going to do one more scan. And as you can see, no more threats are detected. So that gives us a detection ratio of about 90.6%, which is pretty good. It's not the best. I have definitely seen products do better, but it's up there. So now we get to run these files and see malware wreck havoc on the system, or maybe not, depending on how interactive Kaspersky is and how prepared it is to deal with unknown malware. So we'll turn it back on. Now we are fully protected and we'll go ahead and execute these files to see if that is indeed the case.
So I'm going to wait for this installer to finish and then disinfect and restart the computer as Kaspersky requests. As you can see, our advanced disinfection is now underway. Malware actions are being rolled back. Once this is complete and the system has successfully restarted, I'm going to do the second opinion scans and that'll take us to the conclusion. All right, our second opinion scan results are here, so let's go through them one by one. First of all, Zamana did not find anything on the system. Hitman Pro found uh, one registry key modification associated with a PUP. However, by itself, I doubt if it does anything. Malwarebytes also detected the same PUP registry key, and so did MCSoft Emergency Kit. Overall, that was a very clean job by Kaspersky. Next to nothing on the system, no files affected. Regardless of anything else, when it comes to protecting your system and your valuable data, it seems Kaspersky does a really good job, and all credit to them for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Don't forget to share it with your friends. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.